quick little video of uh, loading up a ACOM amplifier. First thing you want to do is make sure that your power is not cranked up too high. And then LSB. I'll just do a without the amplifier turned on. I'll do a quick SWR check just to make sure that I'm close. That there isn't something else wrong. So there's uh, nothing showing up at all. So that's good. I can drop this out. Go back to the scope. And I can go to a, a RIDI. Is usually what I use to tune up. You can use uh, a couple other modes if you want to. I'm going to start low. Make sure that I'm in the right frequency. Everything can kind of be centered up. And then it's best if you write stuff down just as a starting point. But um, anyway, put it in line. This is how you tune. This is the uh, tuning menu. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna watch the arrow and bring it and then turn the load knob to the direction indicated. So I wanna go to the right. So that's good. Next, I will use the tune to go back and forth until I, I peak up the power meter. So that's good right there. Now I can increase power. I usually don't run more than 45%, but you always want to make sure that you tune at the highest wattage that you may run. Just do this again to repeat. Bring it down to the arrow. There's the load. Take the tune. Right there. Easy as that. Now, if you want to reduce power, you can, but you always want to um, want to uh, tune your amp at the highest power and then bring it down, if you are. I mean, the thing is, is ACOM says just <laughs> run the thing, run it at legal limit. It's actually better for it, that's what they tell me, but let me see where we're at right now. That's at 40% drive, 600 watts, so let's see what it does on sideband. Alpha Golf 7 X-Ray Hotel, 1-2 test, AG7XH test. Notice that spike, that's a ICOM thing. Uh, somewhere actually I have a box that I can plug into my radio and stop that that I made. But anyway, that's a quick and dirty demo on how you tune on an ACOM 2100.